Hello guys, Frozen Neptunia here and welcome back to Tales of Grace's F. And on the last episode, yeah, we kind of stopped the experiment at the cost of Kurt and all of the oh, Valkanist stuff. Don't touch that, Sophie. Hmm? Why not? Because there might be some fire Elith left in it. But how come it's okay to touch water Elith? And it's okay to touch wind Elith? What makes fire Elith so different? Aw, uh, the kid's learning! Better give her an answer, Dad! What, me? Well, I, um, y you know, uh, uh... Yes? How about I let Mom field this one? Mom? You mean me? <laughs> <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Sophie, imparting heat to other substances is a special property of Fire Elith, and this may very well have that property. Mom. Okay, thanks. I'll be careful. Are you quite done with all this foolishness already? <laughs> okay, uh, that is actually a skit I do kind of like, because it's just... I I honestly just really just love Laura Bailey as a voice actor. Okay, so we've got to head all the way back up to the Amarsian ruins. Oh, to the Archive of Wisdom. Last tall you. The Cree is core at the center of the world. Why would Richard go to such a place? Hey now, take it easy! Once we hit the Archive of Wisdom, all will be revealed. How are you doing, Sophie? You didn't seem like yourself when we saw Richard earlier. Is there anything you want to talk about? I'm fine. Please don't worry about me. I wanted to stop Richard because we're friends. Well, okay, if you say so. Come, let's get back to the Marcian Enclave. Kurt. I wasted my life on half measures, but no more. I will fulfill your dying wish, I promise you. Okay, so I'm gonna cut here and I'll meet you back at the Amarsian Enclave. Okay, here we are back at the Enclave. Let's just head through the door we couldn't go through earlier and that's actually quite a cool looking door. Yeah, the Marcians tend to have a lot of these, like, floating pad things. And... Oh, cutscene. <laughs> I imagined that a place called the Archive of Wisdom would be more like a library. Oh, we're chock full of wisdom around here! We just don't store it on paper. Oh my gosh, I never actually thought I'd come here. I'm so excited. Okay, okay, let's see what we can learn about this Lestalia. Hey, that looks like the machine where we saw Sophie's illusion. Yeah, it's pretty much the same, which means if I just twang this thingy here... <laughs> What is that? Is it real? I can see right through it. Okay, let me see. Lustalia, Lustalia. Got it. <laughs> okay, now let me just. Oh, that's crazy. So the Lestalia really does exist, but it's different from Valcanus Creus. How so? Well, it's kind of like the basis for Valcanus. Elith is created in the Lestalia and then stored in Creus and Valcanus Creus. It also says that Valcanus exists to stabilize the Elith produced by the Lestalia. Oh man, this is heavy. 
There's something slightly unnatural about the Lestalia and the Valcanus. It's like they were almost designed. I was totally just thinking that, Sharia. Great minds think alike. Okay, so that's what the Lostalia is. And Richard will go there next? Oh yeah, in fact, I'm more sure of it now than ever. Richard didn't care about the Valcanus, he just wanted the Elith. What happens if he absorbs the Elith from the Lestalia? Hmm, well, since there would be no more Elith, I think the world would just kind of... die. That's crazy. I mean, that can't be what he's after. Could it? If the Lestalia is at the core, we'll need a way underground. How do we get down there? Let me check. Ah, oh, bananas. Not again. The records are so darn old. Come on, you. Okay, there we go. Looks like there's an entrance at a place called World's Eye. It's not far from Warrior's Roost, actually. Anything else useful? Hmm... Lambda. Lambda? There's that word again. What does it mean? Looks like it's the name of someone who went after the Valcanus a long time ago, just like Richard is doing now. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a poem or something here. A poem? The seed of destruction from Fodra falls to the land of three lights, sprouting its limbs to shroud the radiance. The savior of Fodra rises to wither the leaves of destruction, guarding the lights forevermore. Okay, so are we supposed to know what any of that means? Because I totally don't. Oh, crud. There's another blank spot here. Seed of destruction. Fodra. Where have I heard that? Sophie, what's wrong? Are you okay? I can almost remember. But my head hurts. You need some fresh air. Come on, let's go outside. I'll take care of Sophie. You guys stay here and learn what you can. Thanks, Sharia. Eh, this information is just too fragmented. I can only read little bits and pieces. I might be able to repair it or whatever, but it'll probably take some time. Do you know what happened to that Lambda guy after he attacked the Valkanis? It looks like someone jumped in and saved the day. I found a little bit about how he was stopped by something called Protos Haste. I'm guessing the seed of destruction in the poem is that Lambda dude. Which means Protos Haste would be... The savior of Fodra! It makes sense. For some reason, Richard is trying to recreate the events from that poem. I think we've learned enough. We should hurry to World's Eye. Agreed. I'll be damned if I'm gonna let this world die. We'll stop Richard this time. We have to. You okay, Sophie? Does it still hurt? Lambda. Seed of destruction. Savior from Fodra. I can almost remember. It's okay. Don't force it. It feels like I have to remember, or something terrible will happen. Something terrible? But it's hard. I'm scared. How are you, Sophie? I'm fine now. I'm sorry. We've decided to head for World's Eye. Okay. Don't push yourself if you're not feeling well. No, you must take me with you, please. Okay, but let us know if anything's wrong. We'll have to head back to Zavher at first. We can catch a ship from there.
So, Sophie seems to know a bit about all this. I won't directly spoil it, but... Oh. Never mind. I have to wait. by war. We can restore it. We must. Right. What I was going to say was it's a bit interesting how it's actually kind of foreshadowed. Richard is trying to reenact re what happened in that poem. But who's always been there to thwart him? Hmm. Think about that for a second. But anyway... I'm... Ooh. Oh, we're going to get that done this episode. I'm going to want to stock up on items. Um, we have a... Uh, uh, let's just say we have a boss <laughs> in our near future. So, get that. Do I have any items I can... Dualize. Got a few. Okay, so I'm going to not equip, sell those. Yeah, I think there's something where you can turn the soft stone into another imperial egg. Or the other way around or something like that. Um... Right, so sell those. Dualize. Strange gear. Gelatin. Torch flame icicle. Night water. Okay, let's make that. Oh, this is what I was thinking of. Yes. And these I may as well actually just use. Okay, so, great. No. Don't have any gel seeds, damn it. Okay, so... I am going to... Let's just dualize a few items. Uh, Asbel, let's give you that. Sell these. And let's... I'll meet you back at the port. to an area east of Warrior's Roost. Can you take us there? If you've got the coin, I've got the boat. But I don't see the point. There ain't nothing up there. We have urgent business on an island in that area. Say, you must be the ones that government fellow was talking about. Yeah, I'm supposed to give you whatever you want. Sounds like the overseers pulled some strings for us. We can make sail whenever you're ready. Just let me know, yeah? Right. So, that was easy. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is, where were those things? Right. I'm going to use these. I know it may not be much, but... Okay, so definitely all five of these onto Hubert, because main physical attacker and all. Uh, physical defense. Wow, Sophie's got the highest physical defense? Okay, let's give it to Malik. Uh, evasion. Wow, Sophie's just got higher stats than everyone. <laughs> and Chamomile. I don't get why accuracy is a stat. Okay, yeah. So as it says, as it literally says on the bottle, it can increase any. It gives them SP plus nine hundred. When did I even get those? Okay, so, World's Eye. Oh, hey, Sophie. Checking out the view? Can I ask you something? Is Richard still your friend? Yeah, Sophie. He is. But not just me. He's your friend as well, right? Remember the pact of friendship we made together? But last time we tried, we couldn't do it. Well then, we'll just make another pact once Richard is back to normal. As long as we care for each other, the pact can be remade. Can we still remake it if I defeat him? Are you saying you're going to do that to protect us? If we do the pact of friendship with Richard again, will it make these feelings go away? I have this feeling that if I don't destroy him, I'll lose my other friends. But Richard is my friend too, so why do I feel this way? You've done everything you can to protect us, Sophie. There's no need for you to shoulder everything alone. Let me take care of Richard. He's a good person. I know he is. There must be a reason for what he's doing. Asbel. So this is World's Eye. It's not very big. So where's the entrance to the Lestalia? Let's snoop around and see what we can find. Asbel acquired Friend to the End and Sophie got Conflicted Heart. That's equipment. Okay, so... Sophie getting this now is kind of... Ooh. Yes. Want to learn that. Um, and to... Hmm. Okay. Slightly confused. Right, okay, so, there is a reason why there is a save point here. <laughs> Did we beat you here, Richard? Or have you already come and gone? Either way, I will stop you. Okay, so I am going to uh, 
change the team a bit. Because I think it's a bit more thematic for Asbel to be a part of this fight. I'm still not sure if I even want to bring Pascal to this fight. Uh, actually, yeah, let's bring Hubert, because we're going to want... Okay, so Malik and Pascal don't have too good of a way of dealing with Nova Barriers. As well, Sophie, Hubert, and Sheria all do. God, this fight isn't fun. <laughs> hey, this must lead to the Lost Dahlia, but it's been sealed off. Well, it looks like we beat Richard here. Look, look up there. Richard, what happened to you? What's happening? I don't think his body can handle all of that elephant he's been absorbing. Okay, so, we have another fight with Richard. And if I'm remembering this correctly, this is, I think, only the first stage of the- oh. Um... This fight may seem like it's fairly easy. Hopefully I won't have to break out an all divide, because I do think this fight is easier than the fight with Kurt and the Bladehorn Boar. Seeing is because... Um... Let's just... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Right, just making sure I don't get randomly one shot. Ah, didn't use it. Uh, he can still use, um, Bloody Rose, so be careful with that. And he actually has a new attack, which we just saw. Well, he's got a few new attacks, bringing out that weird sword. So, yeah, having a dash, a slash, and a... Is this the fight I'm thinking of? Yeah, no, because I... Hmm. It's at that moment where I'm just forgetting this part of the game. And, yeah, the reason why I brought this team, especially because, well... Uh... <laughs> we were... Uh-oh. That's not fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he likes to spam that. <laughs> Okay, let's just break the barrier. And he should be done after just showing us the pavement. <laughs> huh. Oh. Hubert literally died before I killed him. God damn it, Hubert. But I'm pretty sure there was another fight here. Uh, 
There's nothing else we can do, except grant him a quick and merciful end. No, wait, stop! I can hear his voice. I hear Richard's voice. Asbel. Asbel. Is that you? Richard! I'm a pain. It's too much. Help me, Asbel! Yes, I'm right here for you. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Don't kill me. Please, Asbel. You are my friend. of wisdom. No, you're wrong. I I am I'm Sophie. Richard. Let's make a friendship pact. Then everything will be okay. Oh, Sophie. Talk to me! Please open your eyes! No! The time has come. I have finally arrived. And now there is no one who can stand in my way! Sophie! Sophie! Asbel, we have to go! Damn! 